I just look like 18 pictures, but whatever. I'm so hot right now. Okay. Hey everyone, it's Samia, and right now I'm going to be doing my, okay, I gotta think about the month, um, March, so it's February Bookworm Box unboxing. I just got my package, like, right now, basically. I knew I was gonna get it today, but I haven't been home all day, and it's like 10 o'clock at night, and I, like, could not wait to open it, and so I'm so excited to open it. So I have my February box here. And then at the end, I'm going to quickly show you my February wrap-up and kind of like a February haul, kind of. Both of them are very, very short, so I figured I'd just include them in the video like I did last month. I also wanted to just say, I just wanted to say hey to all the new people that are watching my videos for the first time. I have noticed that my Bookworm Box unboxings get quite a few they get more views than my other videos and so of course there are plenty of new people that are watching this and so I just want to say hey thanks for checking out my video I hope you subscribe and check out my face when I post a new video the next time all right so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly get into it so I have it here oh it is I gotta open it up I have my handy dandy scissors open okay I'm so excited guys like this is the my favorite part of every month so I'm not gonna look at it well, I have to look at it, I guess. Wow, that's so cool. All right, so this is the information. Oh, I guess I should give a little background about the bookworm box because I noticed that in my last video I didn't do that and some I had a few questions on it. And so the bookworm box is a subscription service that has been started by Colleen Hoover. So it's a subscription where every month you get two books and some book swag and it is a complete surprise on what it is. All the money is donated to charity. Um, what else is there about it? Um, there are, I believe there are no more spots open to subscribe to it. They do open up subscriptions every now and again. They'll open up a few spots. So definitely if you're interested, check out their Facebook. They're always posting on there. That's, I think that's their main place where they post. I believe they have a Twitter and I'm pretty sure they have an Instagram. I'm probably following both of those, but I know for sure they have Facebook. I always check there for updates and stuff. And so... But it's a subscription-based service and all the money is donated to charity after overhead costs. And so it's really, really, really awesome. So I'm, let's just get back into it. So that's the information. I read those at the end. I'm, I'm sure you guys don't really want to sit through me reading that the whole time. You really just want to know what's in the box. So the first thing on top is this book swag. Let me cut it out of the package and then I'll show you. All right, I didn't want you to have to like hear all that. But it, it looks like a little, I mean, I see it as a hand anyone else it's a bookworm box highlighting hand I guess that's what I would call it highlighting hand super cute oh I was like I broke it but okay they come out and then you use this as the highlighter so we have that's really awesome and I think it's really handy that it's all, and I think it's really handy that it's all in one you don't have to carry around a whole bunch of different pens you can just carry this it is a little odd shape but it's really cute so there's that then there are some book swag from various authors. I always like to hang on to these. I use them as bookmarks and I always will look into the authors that have put stuff in here. So I check that out. I have here the bookworm box pen. I have a container up there. Let me grab it. That has all of the bookworm box pens that I've ever gotten. So I'm going to put this one in here. I mean, not ever gotten because I have a few in my purse and I have some on my desk, but I have a ton. <laughs> And then I have one from Rebecca, Rebecca Shea. She's an author and so I put it in there. But I just throw all my pens in this cute little thing and then I keep it on my bookshelf up there. So, and so there's that. And I kind of just want to feel before I look at the books to see if there's any more book swag. So the first book is, I think it's J.A. Huss. It's 18. That's the name of it. And it's a novel. It's based on a true story. I'm going to go ahead and read the back so I can give you a clear description on what this book is about. It says, 18 is hard, and so is Matteo. I do this every time I read it back. I can never pronounce, like, the characters' names or last names. I'm just going to say Matteo. He's hard to read, hard to predict, hard in every way that counts. He wants things for me. Dirty things, nasty things, forbidden things, and I have to give in. His attention is completely inappropriate, but I can't say no. The way he looks at me, the way he watches me through my bedroom window, whoa, that was weird. The way he drags me deeper and deeper into his completely forbidden fantasy just turns me on. He knows it turns me on. He holds all the power. He holds all the cards. He holds my entire future in his hands, and I have to give in. Oh, because Mr. L. 
Alski, Al Aleski, I don't know how to pronounce it, Mateo Aleski, I guess, is my teacher and I need everything he's offering. So that sounds, oh, that's, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I have read a few books about like that whole teacher-student type of thing. This one seems like it goes a little bit deeper than that and it seems a little bit creepy, um, but we'll see, we'll see. So that's what that one is. And the next one is so pretty. Oh, look, there's more. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, my gosh. Okay. There's a little, one more little book swag that I'll get to. And this is Perfectly Imperfect. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Fuck you. Love, Willow. XOXO. By Harper Sloan. So perfectly imperfect, and then that little thing is up there, and then the author's down here. And so the back, by the way, can we just take a second and appreciate this cover? I think it's gorgeous. And it, well, this is a pretty large book. It has really big writing, so it's about 300 and, about 400 pages. I don't want to, like, spoil myself because I do that every time. So it says, Mirror, Mirror, who's the fairest of them all? I still cringe when I hear that line. A fairy tale that had girls pretending they were the fairest, the most beautiful, and the most entitled. A fairy tale most couldn't grow out of, turned my haunted childhood memories into a living nightmare. Girls who grew up believing that pile of garbage became the meanest of all mean girls. And those mean girls were right. It was a line meant for all the beautiful people in the world, and I knew the answer would never be me. The woman with long legs, flat stomachs, and perfect chest, the type of woman Kane, Kane Masters gravitated toward. Well, that's definitely not Willow Tate. No, that will never be me because I'm completely imperfect and I hate myself. I have no idea what Kane sees in me when he could have them. Hmm, I like where that one's going. So that's that one. And then the last little piece is, it says, Help, I'm in love with a fictional character. And it's a little safety pin clip. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that is all that I got in the book room box for February. I'm really excited to see where those books go. I don't know exactly when I will be getting to them just because, oh, uh, hello. Well, not all these books, but, uh, hello, all these books I have to read. It's crazy. I mean, okay, I'm not going to ramble about that topic. We're just not going to talk about it. So now that I'm going to talk about my February wrap up and it is quite sad. Um, so I only read, I should look at you guys when I'm talking. I'm sorry. I only read one book and it probably took me like the, not the whole month. This book I got through relatively quickly. Maybe it took me a couple, less than a week. I didn't read anything else during the month of February. I started a book, which I'll mention, but I just have had a really hard time with reading. I read one book in January, one book in February, and I probably can hope that I can get through this book in March. I just, I'm very overwhelmed with school, which I'll get to that in another second, but I am a full-time student and a full-time employee, and so I just don't have much time to read. And when I do have free time, I shamefully spend it like on YouTube or watching TV when I have my book sitting next to me I just look at it and I'm like okay what's the next YouTube video I'm gonna watch like I need to dedicate dedicate my time more to YouTube I mean to reading because I really do miss it it makes me so sad that I have only read one book this month like what the, what the f so I read did I mention I love you by Estelle Maskame and I think I'm pronouncing her last name wrong but what's new so I read this book. I do have a review filmed. I will be editing it and uploading it soon, hopefully. I know the next video that I'm going to do is going to be a recommendations video because I did get asked to do that and I have been in the works of putting a list together for that and so maybe after that I'll upload my review for this book and I, I really, really enjoyed it. I think I gave it four out of five stars, four and a half maybe four to four and a half out of five stars. I really, really enjoyed it. And you can hear all about that in my review coming soon. So that's the one book that I read in February and I'm going to do a little bit of a haul. I guess the next book that I'm going to show you is the book that I started reading in February and I'm still reading. And I, I did get it in February, but I got it in a bookworm box. So you can check that out. My last month bookworm box, you can find that on my channel. But it is The Air He Breathes by Brittany C. Cherry. And 
I am not having a hard time reading it because this is an absolutely amazing book. I am 102 pages in and for about the past like 50 pages I have sobbed uncontrollably the whole time. Like I will be doing a review on this book and I am posting on Goodreads like updates and stuff and every two pages I can't stop crying like it's insane and so it's very not that it's draining in a bad way but it's draining because it's so heartbreaking and so I put it down because I'm like no I can't do this right now I just can't be crying all night like I can't do this but I really want to keep reading and so I'll get to it I'll get to it I, I am determined to finish that and hopefully one other book this month Hopefully. I'm on spring break right now, so I'm going to try and read as much as I can before I start school again. And so, um, I picked up a few other books. <clears throat> um, the first one that I believe I picked up in February, maybe it was like the very beginning of March, I don't exactly remember, but is Did I Mention I Need You by Estelle Maskmay. This is book two. And I just can't wait. I pre-ordered it. And so whatever day this came out, that's when I got it. So yeah, there's this one. And then I also saw that um, Where We Belong by Jay Daniels. I want to say this is book three in her Alabama Summer series. I did read these on my Kindle, but I want to have them in physical form because I absolutely love them. And I don't know what it is about Kindle, but if I read a book on Kindle, chances of me remembering it are so slim compared to if I read a book in physical form. I don't know what it is. But I really wanted to have these books in physical form and so I can reread them and marathon the rest of the series because I believe that there is another book. I want to say it's the fourth book in the series coming out soon. I think at the end of the month, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm super excited. And it was $8 on Amazon and there was only one left and so I like one clicked it so fast it was insane. And then I did buy a book on Kindle, even though I just talked about how I barely remember stuff on Kindle. If it wasn't free, I believe it was 99 cents, and it is Nowhere But Here by Katie McGarry. It is part of her new Thunder Road, Thunder Road series. <clears throat> and then I also got some books by Sky Warren. I think I got Sweet and Deep. Sorry, I don't remember exactly. <laughs> But I did get a few other ones. I believe the ones by Sky Warren were either 99 cents or free. And so the next one that I got is not exactly a book for enjoyment. I mean, kind of. It can be. But I got a study guide and it is the tea study. My thing just went off my charger that I need to charge my phone. But I got the tea study guide. And if any of you guys don't know, this is a study guide for the nursing entrance exam. And so now it makes more sense why I don't read that much. It's because I am a nursing major, I guess you could say. I'm doing the prereq classes right now for to get into the nursing program at my school. And so I got the study guide this month. If anyone out there knows someone that is planning to take the teas or anything like that, this book is originally, I want to say, $45 on Amazon. And I was about to buy it, but then I looked at their like marketplace, I think. And I found this book for $16, which is the exact book. It's in its bubble wrap still. Or saran wrap. That's not what it's called. You know what I'm talking about. And it was $16. It was sold through Amazon, but kind of like a third party seller. But it was like basically sold through Amazon. So I got it for $16. And so if any of you guys out there are nursing majors or know anyone that's a nursing major, try and look to find this cheaper because $45 is crazy. I got it for 16 and it was free shipping too. And so yeah, those are all of the books that I got this month, last month, because it's already like the middle of March. I'm sorry. I was waiting for the bookworm box to come in. It shipped a little. It was like a really long shipping time this month, but it's all good. So yeah. I believe that that's it. Thank you. If you are still watching this video, you are awesome. Leave some comments down below. I would love to talk to you. Um, subscribe if you want to be notified for my next video. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say in this 15 minute video. See you guys in the next one. Bye.